Arizona GOP AG nominee says big tech firms working with government makes them agents of the state. And I agree. And I'll take it a step further and say that this is actual fascism. You know, people on the left talking about fascism all the time, but really they are the fascists. They are using corporations, big tech companies to curtail our constitutional rights of freedom of speech, our First Amendment. So they, they instead of the government telling us we can't say these things, they get these tech companies to do it to us. But um, before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Now when you hit that alarm bell, you can change it from personal to all that way you get all the notifications for when I put out stuff because I put out stuff sporadically throughout the day. Also check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. And there's also a link uh, to my Instagram where I put out even more news. So check that out as well. All right, let's talk about this news. Arizona Republican Attorney General Candidate Abe um, Hamaday uh, says big tech needs to be held accountable if allegations are true that such companies are working with the government to censor some Americans. Well, I don't know if he says if I don't know why he says if they are true because we know that it is true. The tech companies came out and said as much. We have uh, Twitter uh, talking about it. We have Mark Zuckerberg talking about it. We have um, they. We know that they go in and they send messages to these companies. They have whole entire portals where if someone says something that the government don't like, they can send it through the portal and then you get censored that way. So we know this as fact. It's not if it is true. We know without a shadow of a doubt that this stuff is true, that it is happening to Americans. But quote, when big tech colludes with the government, they become agents of the state. Hamaday said on Friday's edition of Just the News, not the Noise TV show, quote, that's where I'm tasked to protect our citizens, First Amendment rights, and I've been saying this for a while. The idea of collusion between government and big tech, the catch-all term that largely refers to social media giants, um, took hold in conservative circles in September after two GOP attorney generals allege in court that the Biden administration worked with social media giants like Facebook and Twitter to censor uh, statements they consider misinformation on such matters as the pandemic and really they can call anything they want misinformation you know if it's anything they don't like you saying we know that they called the uh, hunter biden laptop misinformation when it turned out to be true and he's still walking around free and even though he's a uh, basically a stooge for the chinese and he's done a whole a whole bunch of terrible illegal things um some stuff i can't even speak of here that he has done and he, and, and they censor that stuff. They censor so much stuff when it comes to the pandemic that turns out um, a lot of the stuff that we were saying back then that got censored turned out to be actual fact today. I'm not even going to speak on it here on this platform, but you guys know what I'm talking about. It's ridiculous of, of all the stuff they call misinformation just because they don't like what we're saying. But quote, once we win on, on November 8th, and I think we're going to win big, the far left aren't just going to go away. Hamaday also said, quote, they're going to try to implement their policies through big tech, big business, big banks, the schools and the media. They've been doing that. They've been doing that. But Hamaday says that if elected as Arizona's attorney general, he will fight against censorship and free speech on multiple fronts. Quote, I'm going to fight them in the courtrooms. I'm going to fight them in the boardrooms, he said. I'm going to fight in the classrooms, I'm going to fight them in the newsrooms because our country's at stake right now. And with what big tech has done, they need to be held accountable. Now, even Bill Maher came out um, yesterday. I was talking about the cultural problem, um, how, how woke is taking it too far and the censorship and stuff like that. I mean, even some people on the left, they're admitting that this stuff is 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 not a good thing i mean we have a, a right to say whatever we want people might not agree with it even if it is misinformation you have a right to put out that mis so-called misinformation we just have to debate this so-called misinformation come out with your facts so no, the other person come out with their facts and let the people decide on what's true or what's not it's not anyone's job to tell someone to shut up and not say these things it's ridiculous 
I can't believe this um, social media companies, big tech, got away with it for so long. Hopefully, I'm I'm not really big on regulations and rules and things like that. But when it comes to something like this, that's totally antithetical to your a constitutional right, your First Amendment right. There need to be some type of laws or something in place to prevent these companies from doing something like this. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out democracyrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace. Oh,